or I surround the second church, which is Smyrna. And I forgot to mention in the first video about the first church, that the churches represent different points in mankind, right? The seven, the seven points of the greater collective human spirit and the seven angels, the seven lampstands, they're, they're places for God to light his lamp, his fire, the fire of Zion, the fire of God, the Lord thy God is a consuming fire, his spirit, his dominant characteristics. So when America, excuse me, not America, but the world doesn't have the dominant characteristics of God, then they burn, right? Wickedness burns like a fire. So they're rebelling. The churches are said to rebel except for perhaps Philadelphia. We'll get to that. So when we look at the church of Smyrna, they are said to be afflicted and it doesn't say how. How? Because they're just ill all around is a logical assumption here. So when we get to the seal, okay, what happens when they open the second seal? There's a fiery red horse. And he's given a large sword, right? Brute force. He's a knucklehead, right? Like a WWF wrestler, Conan the Barbarian, right? He has a large sword. Now, again, I don't care how you're shaped. I don't care if right now you're a knucklehead. You need to repent. No matter who you are, all shapes and sizes, to scramble and obey God through me. And it should rally to me, literally. So, it's a fire red horse, fire for the color you know, fire red for the color of fire. They make it clear to you. With a large sword. He causes people to wage war against each other. And we, we see that in the Bible, Judah is referred to as a proud horse. So the horse also represents groupings of people, right? Tribe and tribe B. There's no Jew or Gentile. It's people with certain characteristics that are said to come together. Okay. So we see that with the trumpet, there's a mountain all ablaze. A mountain all ablaze, it's thrown down. Babylon is said to be a destroying mountain, it's thrown down. Mount Sinai in this world is said to not be right with God. So it's a mountain with certain characteristics. This transcends the Jew or the Gentiles mountains. It's a collective human mountain of their characteristics that failed to be divine, right? You know, you, you know Moses received the uh, commandments, right, on a mountain. You have Mount Sinai, Mount Horeb, Mount Zion, okay? These are said to be sacred mountains in the Bible. So they failed to receive the commandments. The prophet, who plays the role of a king to some degree, fails to receive the commandments of God. He fails to have the crown of gold, which represents wisdom of God. Instead, they're false idols, so their wickedness is burning. Okay, so the trumpet is blown, right? The mountain is all ablaze, it's thrown down. And there's serious consequences. A third of the sea turns to blood, a third of the living creatures die, and a third of the ships are destroyed. With the bowl, there's a bowl on the sea, and it turns to blood like that of a dead person. So there's a lot of death with number two says number one you forsook the god excuse me you forsook the love you had at first which is nimrod conveying god's spirit right the king represents the spirit that they're in represents the mountain uh, of that people okay it represents the king represents the principles and the wisdom and the path of god he's the authority of god on earth he's conveying it and I'm not talking about, you know, when we're talking about the king of God, we're not talking about someone just given the title of king. It's someone who's actually representing, like Christ was put on the cross and they said, here's the king of the Jews, right? They didn't publicly acknowledge him. They mocked him like they're mocking me. May God will not be mocked. People reap what they sow. So you see, that is what is meant by the church, Smyrna, the fiery red horse, the rider with a large sword. And... The trumpets, the second trumpet's blown with the mountain all ablaze and the bowl is poured, okay, on the sea and it turns to blood like that of a dead person. The sea represents the sea of people, right? Peoples, nations, multitudes, languages. So what language are people speaking? They're speaking the language of the dead. They're in some kind of TikTok trance, what have you. Now, if they ever pretend 
that this is magically solved and they act like they went back to normal. No, it's mind control bullshit. It's brain hacking bullshit. It's corporate bullshit. It's Luciferian bullshit because Lucifer likes to play God and that includes in hell. So you can't tell whether they're going to have everyone pretend like they're holy now after I'm gone or if they're going to keep doing this nonsense you see them doing. Either way, it's complete rubbish. It's disgraceful. It's far beneath dogs. It is crazy for them to do it. Okay, remember that they're changing my voice. Now, even a little kid should be able to tell you that love for God is hate for the devil, hate for the wicked, what have you. And anyone with sense hates the opposition view and people who yoke themselves to it, you know, because it includes them adding noises to my videos, messing up the pictures, messing up the images, what have you. So there's no way around that, right? So if they wanted to fight the hate, like they claim to do, and obviously they're hypocrites, why are they doing what it takes to make everyone with sense hate their guts and find them utterly revolting? And also shows you it's a rape system, right? Because people are going to date them anyway because they're cowards. So on some level they're going to hate them, and on some level they're going to date them, they derive some sick pleasure out of their marriages. It might be the most innocent seeming marriage, but it comes with that kind of deriving pleasure from the bedroom when you know that your wife hates you and is afraid to kind of break off on her own and has been hooked to a machine. I mean, it's so many disgusting forms of rape at the same time. All marriages are so invalid. No matter what the female thinks, she's being tricked. That's why they're called tricks. And that's why pussy's called snatch because there's more than one way to snatch pussy. And one of it is with, you know, rape by deception, the machine, brain hacking, artificial intelligence, technologies, kind of the psychological constructs, psyops, what have you. 